So if you don't know what For Honor is, it's a very different game about killing Vikings and Samurais and other people. And it's a very intense game, but it's also a very anticipated game. A lot of people are very anticip uh, anticipating this a lot in this coming year. And it comes out on Valentine's Day, which is just over a month away. So, or just under a month away. So I figured that since the system requirements were released, I would go over them today. This is going to be a short video, but let's get into it anyway. So for the minimum CP or for the minimum requirements in general, you're going to be looking at an i3-5500 or AMD Phenom 2x4955 or equivalent, something around that. You're going to want 4 gigabytes of RAM, and they have a lot of video cards uh, listed. So you're looking at like something like a 560 Ti or an AMD Radeon HD 6870. Uh, for OS, you're going to need something above Windows 7. And you're going to be playing at 720p at 30fps with these settings. This is a very intense game as far as graphics go, I can already tell. And that's kind of weird coming from Ubisoft, but it doesn't matter. Um, 720p is not great, in my opinion, and 30fps is even worse. So I would really go into this game with something a little bit better than this stuff. So i3-5500 and the Phenom 2 X4 are very, very old CPUs. They're probably from 2011, I want to say. So they're six, year, six years old now. And um, PC hardware has just gone straight up from there. It's n it's nothing like uh, it was back in 2011. So I really think that if you built your PC in the last three years or so, you should have something better than this. Even like if Intel i i3 like Pentium would probably do pretty well in here if you can overclock if you did, if you went that route. I think at least. Um, and then in AMD Phenom, any FX series would probably be better as far as as far as uh, AMD goes. You know, 6300, uh, 4350. Uh, which is a great CPU. All those things are going to be a lot better than the minimum CPU requirements, and you probably have them in your build if you've built it in the recently, I guess. So for the RAM, you're looking at four gigabytes, which not a lot of people um, have a minimum of four gigabytes right now. It's going towards sixteen gigabytes of RAM uh, in the recommended, and you're wanting eight for minimum. But they only need four gigabytes around to run this thing, which is even better because you can just run this thing on low and just like stream it, or you can do whatever else you want with because uh, it takes up less RAM, which is always great. So we're going to the GPU, which I uh, alluded to earlier, is that it's very easy to run as far as your GPU goes if you want to run it at minimum settings. One gigabyte of VRAM is not a lot, and you know if you all the all the Pascal cards have uh, I think four or more VRAM. RAM. Uh, the F that the RX cards have all have four gigabytes of VRAM, and the uh, 480 has eight gigabytes. I want to say, so you are going to be running this game perfectly fine if you have any newer card. And most cards from last generation have either two or four gigabytes of VRAM. So and two is still pretty limiting now. And the fact that this can run on one one gigabyte of VRAM is pretty impressive in my opinion. So your video card should be good. And an AN, a Radeon HD 6870 um, is old. Like that thing is freaking old, old. So I think you should be fine. And then the OS is obviously normal. You need 64. Uh, you need 64 bit OSs to run this game, which is normal. This is my bread and butter right here. For the recommended system requirements, you're gonna be looking at an Intel Core i5 2500K, an AMD FX6350 or equivalent, eight gigabytes of, of RAM. A NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 or an, AM, or, or an AMD R9 285, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, all 64 versions. The OS didn't change, obviously, but the CPU is big. So what is the big difference, I should say? Um, the the big difference here is that it goes from not only an i3 uh, first gen to an i5 second gen, which is pretty big, but actually the AMD stuff is even bigger. Phenom 2 X4 to a 6350 is a pretty impressive leap. And uh, it's a little bit more than I expected to be completely honest. Uh, most people, the i5 is a pretty, is an older one, uh, not as old as the Phenom, uh, but it's still pretty old. And the FX6350 is still a great CPU out here in 2017. It's still holding up uh, five years after release, or however long it was. It wasn't five years, but. 6300 has been around for a while, and 6350 has been around just as long, and they're still holding up out here in 2017, which is impressive, because I actually, I actually used to have a 6300 in my build, but that's besides the point. 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is, again, normal. If you built, if you have a gaming PC, you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, if not more, so that's not that, that big of a deal. The graphics cards take a little bit of a leap here, so they go from an older Radeon HD to a brand new AM or a newer AMD Radeon R9. So that's kind of a big leap, and also the NVIDIA GeForce goes from 560 Ti to a 670, which makes me think that it's not that hard to run this game because again, both those are very, very 
not very very old but they are older and most people have pascal or rx cards now it's i think i like to think most people maybe not so that's kind of a big leap and that's kind of interesting to me and when you're gonna when you be playing on recommended you're gonna be playing at 1080p at 30 fps which i think they should have really listed this at 60 fps because you want to always play games with 60 fps on pc so maybe you're gonna need someone closer to a 750 ti or a r9 350 or, or 370 i think it's what it's called yeah 370 380 so something closer to that because um or maybe even an rx 460 because i think that um you want to play it more like 60 fps or closer to 60 fps than at 30 fps overall i would like to see like an ideal settings uh system requirements because these ones are kind of old uh as far as like the hardware goes so i'd like to see like ideal settings where you can literally just max out the game with the ideal settings and both the minimum and recommend are both actually only sitting at 30 fps so that really sucks but um no anyway i think that i would really enjoy an ideal an ideal system requirements for this game because it's, it'll just make things a lot easier to see how you can run it with your hardware uh, as opposed to like the recommended hardware or how you can like basically maxing out what it takes to max the game out. With that, my name is Z-Star. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, go ahead and like it. If you guys dislike it, go ahead and dislike it. Comment down below and tell me why you rate it like you did. I'll see you guys in the next video.